It's Anthony Barnell's Wedding School. This is going to be a really fun one. I have a good feeling. I have a great feeling. Today we're doing some arts and crafts. This is Storm the Weather Dog. I am meteorologist Anthony Farnell. We are going to create our very own cloud chart. It's easy, but it's really fun. And get this, it's actually educational. So Storm, you uh, have all hands, all paws on deck here, which I like to see. We uh, only need a few things for this experiment. Start things off with cotton balls. This is gonna go a long way to create different cloud types. You need some glue to put it all together. Any glue works. And then you're gonna need a couple different colors. We have yellow for lightning, blue for rain, and then uh, the black marker here to show the different levels of the atmosphere. So let's get right to it. To start things off, we're gonna to wanna to divide up the atmosphere into three different levels. So for that, we go low, pretty easy, mid, and upper. Now when you hear me talking about the atmosphere, it can be divided into these three levels. Now low is zero to two kilometers, mid is two to six, and then upper would be six or higher. Six kilometers in the air, that is where the airplanes fly, and that's also where it's very cold, and that is gonna be important when we talk about different cloud tops. So let's start there. Now up in the upper levels where everything is ice crystals, you get these wispy thin clouds. Anybody know what those are? Anybody else know what those are? They are cirrus clouds. Cirrus is Latin for tuft of hair. It also looks like feathers. So there they are, up in the sky. They're also associated with a warm front. So if you see those cirrus clouds, you know the weather is going to be changing. Now let's write that in. I'm gonna glue it after. Upper level clouds, cirrus. Now on a beautiful summer day, like hopefully we're gonna have soon, you end up in the afternoon with some updrafts. As the ground heats, so does the air, and it starts to rise. And then you create these beautiful fair weather clouds, we call them. They are cumulus clouds. Now cumulus clouds, oftentimes when I was a kid, I dreamt of taking naps in them. C U M U. L-U-S. So they're low levels of the atmosphere and they're fair weather clouds. They're not gonna lead to any rain. I know what you're thinking. Anthony, I know what you're thinking. I have no idea what he's thinking, but I know what I'm thinking. Uh, get to the good stuff. Let's get to the big clouds. The, the, see, I'm, I'm getting excited. The thunder boomers for that. Those are cumulonimbus clouds and you're gonna need a lot of cotton for this because they are going to take up the entire low, mid, and upper levels. And that's what makes them so big, so menacing. They often uh, remind me of a big explosion, a nuclear bomb going off, uh, also big mushroom tops. So they start in the low levels, they start as cumulus clouds, and then they turn into what we call cumulus convectus, convection clouds. And as that updraft continues, it goes all the way into the upper levels of the atmosphere, where, as we know from cirrus clouds, it's so cold that everything turns into ice crystals. So that creates an anvil up at the top. Look at the size of that cloud. That is Q mu low nimbus. Anytime you see nimbus in a cloud type, that means rain. So for that, we should draw in some rain. We're gonna draw some raindrops. Now, with these clouds, it's not just rain you have to worry about. These are thunderheads. So, you get a lot of charge up in this cloud. Sometimes that charge releases, you get lightning strikes. Those come from cumulonimbus clouds. Now lightning strikes can be dangerous. You don't want to get too close if this storm is approaching you. And if you are out in it, sometimes because it goes all the way up to the top, you get ice crystals and sometimes that ice builds and gets bigger and bigger and you can get hail and even tornadoes in these cumulonimbus clouds. 
pretty exciting stuff, right? Show me at home or show me in the comment section if you have made some cumulonimbus clouds or maybe you see some outside on a hot summer day. Now what's, there, there are over a hundred different types of clouds, believe it or not. We're not gonna do a hundred types, but I wanna just show you two more. One, especially if you're living on the West Coast. Storm, we've been to the, we've been to the West Coast. I've been to the West Coast. He doesn't like the long drives. But on the West Coast, you get these low level stratus clouds and they block out the entire sun, but they're low into near the ground. So maybe you get some drizzle, that's about it. S-T-R-A-T-U-S. It's been a while since I've spelt. Stratus clouds, you might get a little bit of drizzle. That's about it. Now when stratus clouds get a little bit bigger, they start to encompass the low and mid levels of the atmosphere, and that would be nimbostratus. Now, I wanna just show you a couple of examples. So in the upper levels, I, I mentioned cirrus, you can get variations of this. You can get cirro or, or cirro cumulus, you can get alto cirrus, and we have a, on a beautiful sunny day, I took this yesterday, a time lapse, and you basically can see a few different cloud types here all showing up at once. So you're not just gonna see one type of cloud in the sky. Sometimes you can see two, three, or four. Those were upper level cirrus and um, cirrostratus clouds. Now we also have another time lapse. This time, it's right before it was about to rain. These are more mid-level clouds. So you would be talking more your alto stratus, your strato cumulus, and then even your nimbo stratus coming in here. So that is, uh, uh, often with a warm front, you get this ahead of it. And I just wanna show you one other cloud type as well. You know, if you're out on a nice day, sometimes on a hot summer morning, you get these little tufts, but they're very close together. You're getting bored, I can tell. We're gonna wrap this up soon. So these tufts that are all close together, they almost look like uh, well, scales of a fish. That would be mid-level, often you call it alto. So alto cumulus. See, it's not that hard. You're just combining different cloud types. So make it pretty. You're gonna get some glue out. You're gonna glue it in. That's the boring part, so I'm gonna do that separately. But you have low, mid, and upper level clouds. And combined, well, basically you get weather. So that was a fun little experiment. Show me how this worked out for you, this arts and crafts project, you can email storm at globalnews.ca. Storm is gonna be checking those emails regularly. Also in the comments section, we'd love to hear more. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.